Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for dropping in and checking out this video. Thank you so much for many of you who have watched a whole lot more. You seem to you seem to want to watch what's going on with the martial arts side of my life and that is fantastic. So I'm going to kind of lead that way. Uh, I know I haven't been in front of the camera recently and that that really is because uh, I haven't felt very good in the past six months or so. Uh, and because of that, I'll summarize really quickly. Uh, I went to I went to the doctor because I, I was tired. I was sleeping a lot through the day. Um, I would drop my son off at school, come home, and sleep from eight till noon. That's something wasn't right. So I went to the doctor. She did blood work, and turns out. I was over medicated on my thyroid medication. I've been taking that for about six and a half years now, seven years. Um, so they asked me to stop my thyroid medication and after about two weeks, it was like night and day. I felt so much better. I, ne <laughs> I needed way fewer stimulants like no, I stopped the pre-workout, energy drinks, coffee, all of that stuff. I just feel good again. And so now I feel like putting a little more effort into my YouTube channel, uh, filming more. I don't feel overwhelmed with editing or just, just exhausted from sitting in front of the computer. Uh, makes my eyes quite tired looking at a computer screen, but I'm sure we can all relate to that. Anyway, to summarize, uh, this channel is probably going to go a little more to the martial arts side of my life, being an, an instructor at my dojo. My dojo. Mine and my husband's dojo. There will still be some other things. Uh, day in the life of a martial arts instructor. Uh, how I teach. Um, and, and things of that nature, how I recover, how I fuel, uh, and, and we'll get into that. And I will talk a little bit more about how I teach in this video right here. This is a very much a, a teaching rolling session that I had with one of our students. Uh, and I will just chat a little bit about that and let's get into it. Welcome to the voiceover. Something I like to do with my training partners is let them start in a dominant position. One, I like to be able to work my escapes. And two, especially for a, a less trained person, it gives them the opportunity to kind of maintain a dominant position and figure out what they can do uh, from, from where they are. Right now, I'm really letting my partner work from where she is. I'm giving her a really hard time. Uh, as you can see, she's trying to fish for arms, trying to make them go where she wants, but uh, I'm, getting her, I'm letting her get a little bit of work in and letting her figure things out while giving her a hard time of upsetting her balance, um, messing with her here and there, and finally, kind of get a <laughs> kind of get a really sloppy trap and roll but making her work now to stay safe and get me where she wants right now she has me in half guard so i escaped that i had to work a little bit for it but now i am in a dominant position and also picking trash up off the mat because i have time for that And now I'm just being silly. I'm giving her lots of fuss about my arms and moving them in and out and swimming them around and really just kind of being silly.
One thing I focus on for less trained uh, partners and students is to walk them through their escapes. As you can see, I did not have great control with that uh, back take. So I really wanted to walk her through it and make sure that she uh, knew her escapes, knew what to do and knew how to get out of it. This is very much a learning process. For them, there is no reason for me to just give them the hardest time so that they can't learn. Um, uh, you know, it's just, there's no reason for me to crush them. It's my job to teach them. There she gets it. She gets this half guard escape really well. She drove that knee to the ground, slipped out, and sort of got mount for a minute. But, you know, I'm gonna make her have a hard time. Now I'm walking her through an escape from this position. I'm trying to slip into a case of Gatame, but I am showing her that she needs to create distance and she needs to push me away from her and eventually sit up and get that escape right there and uh, switch the position. And now we're walking through another moment where she is set up for a, uh, a submission, but we're picking up more trash. I don't know what's going on. Oh, she lost an earring. Don't wear your earrings on the mat, please. We try to work through this again. What I am trying to teach her is modified mount that she's got to pass my leg, but uh, she, she doesn't quite get that until here in just a second where she does finally pass my leg and gets into what she needs until she slips that foot in between my legs. That doesn't need to happen, but here in just a second, she will, she'll get it figured out and she will realize that she is set up for an arm bar, but really doesn't execute it quite well. Okay, yes, I did just cut a little clip out of there because my shorts were falling down and nobody needs to see that. So I did walk her through a, a another transition um, so that she could escape my mount attempt and she, we are now, here we are.
wish I could tell you why we have finished our rolling session here, but I really don't remember. But uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this version of me kind of walking through my teaching process when rolling with a less trained student or a training partner. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.